What a historic day for the Hmong community. SUNY Lee's dad, John, here, his phone has been going off all morning long. And you know what? There is good reason for it. He is now the parent of a gold medal Olympian in gymnastics. The whole event center went wild. This is what joy looks like when your Olympian wins gold. I feel great, amazing, and, <laughs> and just crazy, unbelievable. Uh, I'm super proud and so happy um, for her um, and the leader that she became. Under the hugs and tears, Hua John Lee and Yang Pa, the parents of Team USA Olympian Sunisa Lee, the first Hmong American Olympian ever, and then to snag a gold. Her journey began about 12 years ago. We brought her in just for a trial. That turned into a homemade beam. I built the, it out of a four by four. Then to annual fundraisers. Then now we will sell t-shirts, make egg rolls, whatever we can just to have enough to help her um, fees, uniforms or travel fee when we travel with her, things like that. So Yeah, we made pho at home They're like in our garage and then happy friends and family will come and they just donate and just to eat pho yeah. with us. <laughs> The crowd of 300 or so at Brothers Event Center in Oakdale suddenly makes sense. A girl with a dream able to thrive on a world stage largely because of the support by her Hmong family and Hmong community. More than just a, a word of thank you. We came to this country more than 40 years ago. I've seen so many of us beat incredible odds to do something amazing, Hua John says. But the couple says they never imagined two refugees would see a Hmong Olympian in their time let alone their daughter. It feels good, it feels great to uh, be a part of that family. Yeah, we did yeah. it. <laughs> she went from a wooden two by four beam to a golden two by four. Soaking in the moment, Gia Vang, Care 11 News. Oh, if you miss the competition, you can watch it when it re-airs tonight in primetime right here on CARE 11. We are all so proud of SUNY. Her next event final is the Uneven Bars. It's her specialty, and she is expected to medal. That's on Sunday. Well, the congratulations messages from all of you keep coming in. Like Sue, Ray, and Patty all said, you make us very proud, and we wish you the best of luck as you continue to compete in Tokyo. There will also be